What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Gold Mouth, and I'm back with uh, the takedown of my protective style. Y'all said y'all wanted to see me take this style down, so I am here to show you guys how it looks when I take it down. First off, I'm going to give you a glimpse of what it's looking like. Okay, y'all, now I have got that out, I'm going to add some escrow spray moisturizer to my hair. I already know my hair matted up in certain areas, like at the ends of these braids, like here. It always mats up at the beginning of the braid where you would start to <laughs> braid your hair at. And there goes the video. Yes, so I'm going to moisturize these only so, um, so they can be, I don't want to be like, uh, manipulating on dry hair. Even though my hair not dry, I'm just getting it like an extra coat of moisture just in case, you know, because I'm running my fingers through my hair and I don't want it to be like dry in some spots and, you know, moist in other spots. And my braids were really nice and moist when I took them out. Before I sprayed them, it was already nice and moisturized already um, because they have been balled up into that bun so it um allowed them to stay moist because it was kept away from the air to you know evaporate the moisture out of it as much so i'm going to moisturize i moisturized that section i didn't drench it y'all i did not drench it it's just moisturized now y'all see these thin little plaits because i had a lot of hair um I had a lot of shedded hair due to the chemotherapy and radiation and also i am text laxed so that's why my hair is uh looks thin you know so i'm going to i guess i'll start right here oh my god oh my god i don't want to i don't know if i want to do this this no more next time i think when i do my hair yeah i'm going to uh just not plait it all the way to the end but that it did me good to leave it plaited to the end because um, I didn't plait it to the end. end. I think I stopped like right there and I left the tip tip out. But still, just looking at these, I don't even want to like, Lord, I guess for the, for the aggravation of putting them in and taking them out, four weeks is, is good. You know, keeping them in, being able to keep them in for four weeks is a good thing um, because I have the freedom of not having to wake up in the morning and worry about my hair as much. You know, I just wake up and I go. I put my little wee ponytail in and go. But I don't even go anywhere, y'all. So when I do, but when I do go somewhere, I don't have to worry about it. Um, so recently I just went to graduation and I didn't have to wear my hair. Even though my it was my hair was a hot mess, I tied a do-rag on my head or, or, or scarf on my head and I kept it moving. I kept it moving. Um, so in order for me to be as gentle as I can with my hair right now, I have to take these little plaits out with my fingers, one braid at a time. And I know I don't want to prolong this video and make it like... I don't know, maybe it take an hour to take this mess out. I don't know. Depends on how my hands start feeling. Hopefully they won't start hurting. Um, I did take my pain medicine this morning, so hopefully my hands won't, you know, hurt as much. Put it like that. So one braid at a time. Gently through this braid, piece by piece. And then the more you get to the scalp of your hair, be even more gentle because there is like places in that that can actually actually be matted up and you want to be able to pull through the matted areas as gently as possible so 
I found some like matted areas here, right here. If y'all can see that, it's kind of clumped together. So I have to take this a loose gently. Now this is the thing about um, having your hair, my hair, my hair braided up in individual braids like this. I on the ends, like on every end of every braid has an area where I have to go slow because it has matted up. Um, and that's a number one reason of a lot of people's edges gone. That and tension as far as putting the braids in too tight. My braids were not tight at all, but um, after a prolonged period of time of having your hair braided in the protective style, you can experience matted areas in your hair where you have to be very gentle when you're taking them a loose. Now that I got the braid a loose, you have to go back through this and I pull very slowly to get any matted areas of hair apart before I run a comb through it. I don't just take my braid loose and run a comb through it because that's going to snatch out even more of your hair. Now, if you don't have patience to take your own hair loose or do this to your hair, wait until you till you got a day where you don't have nothing else to do but take loose your hair, pop you some popcorn, watch TV or what have you. That's if you're on a hair growth journey. If you don't care nothing about your hair and how you take it loose, just go ahead and snatch it loose with a small tooth comb and call it a day. It ain't my concern because that's your head, okay? But um, I recommend that you have patience when you're taking out your hair so therefore you will reap the benefits of seeing length retention, okay? Your hair grows whether you want it to or not. Um, most hair grows um, depending on uh, maybe if you, the only thing that'll stop hair growth is maybe hormones, um, heredity, or uh, sickness, uh, certain uh, pills, certain medication that you might be taking that could, you know, stop the process of hair growth and as i'm taking my hair loose y'all i just want y'all to know that i'm paranoid and i always am because every time i see any form of breakage ever since i had the chemotherapy and the radiation i kind of freak out because i don't know if my hair falling out falling out falling out or is my hair just shedding you know it's a difference between breakage shedding and your hair just falling out shedding and falling out pretty much the same thing but falling out is like shedding to like the 10th power you feel me so um that's my length on this hair right here it goes to oh god i can't even get it in the frame but anyways y'all um i'm going to i'm going to take out another one we're going to just go with the flip
Okay, y'all, so I am finally done. That was actually like three days. I started taking my hair loose two days ago. Then yesterday I didn't have time because I was doing things with Nivea. Um, and then today I decided to go ahead and finish. So that took like three days approximately. My next video might be washing it. I don't know if I'm going to record it. Depends on how easy it is to, to, to do. But um, I think it's only fair that I turn around because I know a lot of y'all probably want to see the back. But I'm in the wrong chair. <laughs> Let's see if I can turn around this shit. Uh. Okay, y'all, that's the best I can do. Well, y'all, thanks for watching, and that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye!